Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about how to calculate inbreeding coefficient. And today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. And as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answers. And when you would be ready you can run video again. And you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So um, here is the first question. In this pedigree how many individuals are in the breeding path from A's parents to their common ancestor and back. So here we have a person and here is a person's parents. Square stands for the male and circle stands for the female. Now let's consider person D. Person D would be uh, mother of the person B and of course would give him uh, or her 50% of the genes and uh, her father E also would give 50% of his genes to his daughter but uh, person D don't share any of uh, her genes with person C. Person C have uh, two parents F and G and uh, doesn't share any of the genes with uh, person D. So we can cross out this person and the same rules applies to the person G. As you see, person G doesn't share any of the genes uh, with uh, person B. So uh, we also can cross out this person. And uh, the same rules applies to the person J. Person J only share uh, his genes with uh, person F. C and A and uh, not with uh, person E or B for example. So this is going to be out cross and we also can cross out person H because person H would share his genes with E, B and A but not with person C or F for example. So and of course person I would be common ancestor to both B and C. So as you see, um, this uh, grandmother would give 50% of her genes to her uh, one son that would also uh, share 50% of his genes with his daughter and grandmother of the person C also uh, transfer her genes to her uh, son and to her grandson uh, so uh, and of course these two people would be uh, related and share genes and when they would mate uh, the progeny would be inbreed so here we have uh, one pathway uh, for the gene flow and here we have the second pathway for this gene flow. So uh, in order to find how many uh, people contributing to uh, inbreeding of the person A, we just have to calculate uh, how many people in this circle or we also can say how many nodes here excluding person A. So if we would simplify this picture we are going to get I and here we are going to get E and B. Once again we exclude person A and here we have person F and person C. So as you see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 people. And also we can uh, write the same pathway in line form. So we are going to get B here, E, I, F and C. And we underline I in order to uh, show that this is going to be common ancestor and this is going to be two shoulders or two arms. So as you see the correct answer would be 
we have one, two, three, four and five people. So the correct answer would be A. We have five nodes or five people in uh, in breeding pathway for the person A. And next question, uh, what is the inbreeding coefficient for individual A? Assume that none of A's ancestors are inbred. And because uh, none of the ancestors of A are inbred, we can use simplified formula. And here's the formula, 1 half raised n, where n stands for the number of uh, nodes. And as you see, we have five nodes here. So our calculations would be very simple. 1 half raised 5. That is going to be 1 over 32. And decimal number would be 0 0.03125. And uh, we also can give an answer in percentage form. We just have to multiply by 100 because uh, this answer here uh, is uh, on the scale between 0 and 1. But if you, we need an answer on the scale between 0 and 100%, we just have to multiply by 100. And the answer would be 3.125. We just move this decimal point two places to the right. And as you see, our answer is given here, answer C. And uh, also, as I said, this formula is uh, simplified. Uh, it doesn't take into account that uh, some of these people may be in breed because today we have very simple example. And this formula also doesn't take into account that uh, we may have uh, alternative routes here, but in my following uh, videos I would uh, use more complicated examples and of course our formula also would be modified in order to take uh, all those complications into account. And this is all for today, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.